Hi everyone, welcome to Science Sunday, and today we're going to be doing a little experiment to learn about chemical reactions, and it's a very simple experiment. Just a couple of ingredients here. All you need is some white vinegar and some eggs. Now you can use any type of eggs, but I'm going to use these beautiful Easter eggs that my girlfriend made because we have them this time of year, and I'm in specifically going to be using just the shell from the egg. And all we have to do is take that eggshell, or the whole egg if you prefer, put it in a little glass container, or any container will do, and then just pour a little bit of the vinegar on top, just enough to cover up that shell or the egg. And you're going to start to see some changes pretty quickly as soon as you drop that vinegar in. You're going to be seeing some bubbles forming on the eggshells, and that's the chemical reaction taking place. Now let's take a closer look at what the chemical reaction we're seeing here actually is. As I said, it's a pretty simple experiment. There's only two ingredients going into this, vinegar and the eggshell, but we have to break that down a little bit more. Vinegar is made up of what we call acetic acid, and the eggshell is made up of something called calcium carbonate. Now, if we look at that in different terms, acetic acid is what's called an acid and the calcium carbonate is a base. Now acids and bases are the opposite of each other and when we add them together, we tend to get a chemical reaction just like we did today. Now in today's reaction, what happens is the acid and the base, the acetic acid and the calcium carbonate come together to form completely new results. It forms a salt, H2O, better known as water, and the other thing we see and that we can actually see in the reaction is CO2. That's carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and that's what causes all the bubbles that you see when you add the vinegar to the eggshell. And there is one other important aspect of this reaction. When we add a base and an acid together, the acid gets weaker. The base neutralizes the acid, and that has real world applications. If you've ever taken an antacid, something like Rolaids or Tums, you're doing the same thing, but to your body. You take an antacid and it weakens the acid that is in your stomach, which can help relieve things like an upset stomach or heartburn. And if you actually look at the ingredients on these antacids, like this one I have right here, the first ingredient is calcium carbonate. That's the exact same thing as what is in the eggshell. So if we take one of these antacids and we add it to the vinegar, we should see the same results. Now, if you missed any steps from this experiment today, you can find the full experiment online at turn to 23com Brandon Michaels, 23ABC, connecting you.